Here's what pissed me off. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking we could be at the combine potentially, oh, and I kind of miss it and whatever, whatever. And I'm trying to I'm trying to get ready for my run, yeah. which we're still determining when I'm going to do it. I if I had to peg it right now, mid April. How's the training coming? It's terrible. <laughs> this weekend was this weekend was uh, nothing to do with training at all. My gosh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, so, um, but I'll, I'm I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. Good. Um, Daniel Jeremiah, my colleague with whom I I share a booth at the combine. Um, do you have the tweet, Don? We're he tweets this out. We're about two to three years away from personnel departments not caring about forty times. Whoa. The game's GPS data is going to replace it, he says. Who cares what he ran in the 40? I know exactly how fast he ran in game conditions, and I have five years of data for context. Mm. And the number of people that then chimed in, Shot like, yeah. yeah. Even Trey Wingo, I guess, you know, now that he's out of the NFL a hosting game for the moment, he writes, thank you. Like, for what? Take that for data. What's with the what's with the forty yard dash hate? I love the forty. So I wrote him. You know, are you free to yeah. talk about your heresy on the forty <laughs> yard dash that got perpetrated on Twitter? That's how I proposed it to him, and he wrote back, "Yes, I will face the music." I will say this. I will say this in advance of talking to Daniel Jeremiah. I understand that. You know. Uh, technology has advanced. I get it. And that the 40-yard dash, you're thinking that maybe a a one-eyed uh, Charlie Casserly sitting 50 rows up from the 40-yard dash line overlooking his finger might not be the most accurate assessment of somebody's 40 time. I understand that <laughs> that might not be accurate for you. And that there is all sorts of data and a chip and a shoulder. But will there be chips and shoulders of small school athletes? What about the kid that plays at Division Three that has a dream playing the NFL? You don't get drafted because you don't have a chip? No! You run a 40-yard dash. Doesn't matter how somebody, Charlie Cash, looking like Popeye, <laughs> looking over his hand. No! There will always be a place for a 40-yard dash time in the National Football League. Oh, now suddenly we're talking about GPS, this, and chip, that. But no, let's now use two guys on a field in a Super Bowl to try to determine possession of a football in a Super Bowl. I'm just giving you the ultimate stage that the NFL could offer. Let's choose two guys in the 21st century holding on to two huge poles attached to 10 yards of chains, and let's figure out with a spot of an eye where a ball's placed on a field. We're fine with that. We're fine with that. We accept that in the 21st century. But no, let's get rid of the 40-yard dash. I say no, because it's a slippery slope. First the 40-yard dash, then they come for football on a stick, and I will not stand for that. <laughs> First they came for the 40-yard dash. Then they're going to come for football on a stick, which will always be the perfect way to mimic a snap of the football. Put a football on the end of a stick. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It's pristine. It cannot be messed with. Can't eat it, though. doesn't matter. I, mean, yeah. I don't know what that means, actually. What you just said, I have no idea what the hell that means. Well, there's a hot dog on the stick. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. I'm on a roll. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. Back off. And on top of it, it's four, four days of crucial NFL network programming centered around a 40-yard dash. What else are we going to do? Watch three cones? The Watch gauntlet. three drills? The gauntlet. Gauntlet stinks. <laughs> gauntlet. You can figure out who's better at football with a 40-yard dash time than a gauntlet where you're supposed to just catch a ball and then drop it and turn around and catch a ball and drop it. It's fun to sound mix, Rich. Go with it. Now you're annoying me, Mike. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, Rich. Because I've got a 40-yard dash to protect Daniel Jeremiah. The calls are coming from within the house. Rich, the 40 wants you on that wall. Needs you on that wall. I understand that. Needs you on that wall. 
But seriously, not everyone's going to have a chip. Not everyone's going to have the GPS. Not everyone's going to have, you know, all the bells and whistles in the NFL. Nope. In the college football world. The NFL will have it. College football may have it. Yeah. Yeah. Alabama, you know, they could probably figure out what your 40 time is when you're 12 years old. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 